Hello, la 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 Libra, Libra, Libra. It is time for your reading for mid-November to December of this current freaking year. Yay. You survived so far. Good luck. You've been keeping yourself secure with all of your funding and stuff. Like a hobo who lost a shoe. Possibly high dancing with death and flames. Yeah, you know. Cool stuff, right? You know, it took me a long time to realize that like, Libras are just imaginative weirdos. It took a really long time. I don't know why, my dad's one. But, whatever. Anyway, oh, yeah. I almost forgot, I'm still taking uh, personal readings in case you guys want one. Just hit me up on my email. It's usually between 10 and 15. I'll go from there with you, and then I'll get it to you as soon as possible. But I procrastinate a lot. So. Just so you know. No worries. Okay. Just lead it out. Ooh, Queen of Cups. Wow. Ah, you calm down. Cups. Why are you so freaking destructive, Harley? I swear. Ah. The full reversed. Lots of hesitation when it comes to a new start, right? I need to go grab this away from the cat because she's a destructive freak. Yes, you go back to sleep, sir. You're the good kid of the house. Okay, I gotta send a reading here shortly to somebody anyway, so sorry about that. Dude, look at these cards. Ew. One, two, three majors. Two of which like are definitely above and below each other, like even facing the same direction. I need the devil's its own color. <laughs> Which I like. Which is interesting because it's also with this one as well. Like, that guy is red too, so. Is he the devil? Or just another gracious being? Alright, so with the Queen of Cups reversed. Wow! Libra, we got the Queen of Cups reversed! <laughs> Clarifying herself. She's an emotionally manipulative woman who is an emotionally manipulative woman who is asking for a happy ending and is getting very in tune with her emotions with the moon. There's lots of stuff beneath that surface. There's a lot of hidden secrets and deceptive actions. Could be the crab, which is Cancer, or a Pisces. That's interesting. She clarified herself, huh? And this devil reverse, possibly Capricorn, who's in bondage with themselves, huh? King of Cups could easily be both of these. Queen of Cups, wow. Someone's really into their emotions. Like, is this Queen of Cups emotionally manipulating herself? Because she is an emotionally manipulative person, doesn't even realize it? Because that'd be crazy. Like, they're both looking at each other. They're probably even a couple, too. But, like, sure, he's facing her. But I feel like he's also getting away from her, too, to move on to this person over here who is desperately trying to take a break but not getting it, right? And look, here's the fool right here running towards this person who needs this break but not getting it. And they aren't really paying attention to what they're doing. Like, they might have finally just laid down when this fool's gonna accidentally hesitate jumping over and just land right on their freaking head. You know? That could happen. Way too many cards. Sorry. So we got this King of Cups. I see Scorpio Cancer also. This is a lot of fish. This is, I'm just going to put this out there. That's a lot of water. Who is actually the devil in disguise? 
Where it's like he's his own worst, possibly even his own worst enemy, Libra. So you might be dealing with possibly either a Cancer or Pisces because they're right here where it was just like some happily ever after. But it's also like deceit and deception, like either to yourself or to this dude or maybe to each other. I'm not even entirely sure. But here's the High Priestess with a bunch of secrets, as usual, like she always does. What does the High Priestess say? Ooh, that's some healing needs to be in order. The star. Could be an Aquarius too. Maybe there was like an exchange here. Maybe someone tried to switch something out for another. Could also indicate thievery. Not really as much debauchery. Maybe even overindulgence in some cases. Oh. Wheel of Fortune, I've turned a little bit, but nothing happened. And that's because, like, someone isn't taking the break that they need. Because, <laughs> like, they still need to heal from an old heartbreaking wound. Three of Swords reversed. My dear. And then we got the Six of Wands down here to clarify the ending as well as the catalyst for all of this. Someone wants to be victorious, possibly even worshipped, looked up to, looked at like, oh, I am awesome. And, and, and it bugs them. And I, what? Someone wants to be victorious and it's plaguing their dreams to the point where they can't even sleep. Ending theme, getting what you want. You know, you don't know where the fuck you're going. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have been like in a really giddy mood all day, so don't take it the wrong way. Like, everyone's reading said has me giggling today. I can't wait to see what mine is. That's probably gonna be bad. But yeah, like, the Queen of Cups is clarifying herself. She's a dubious person because she's a dubious person. And they not be the most trustworthy. She might not even be as trustworthy to herself as anybody else. She might be her own worst enemy. And she could also be this King of Cups right here as well, who's acting like the devil. Who's acting like he's facing one way, but in reality he's sneaking over here. Where someone isn't taking the time, I think. They're afraid they're not taking the time to recuperate from some past heart stab or whatever. Like some heartbreak. Maybe somebody's not as they are, Libra. You know, communication might be needed about whatever the secret could be. I mean, if you want to be victorious, that's one thing, but like, to be mentally, like, enraptured with such an identity, like, you want to be able to be victorious over something, but it's plaguing your mind. Like, I don't understand that. But it's not for me to completely grasp. Oh my goodness, a scenario where you want total happiness with... I feel like they're, like someone's being deceptive here, and I don't know who these two are, but I do feel like with them facing each other, like one came in for something and sneaking away, and the other one is just like... They're almost like their own worst enemy. They're, like, they... I don't know who you're dealing with, Libra, but it seems like this person, whoever you're dealing with, is so emotionally deceptive and careful and maladaptive with it that they're their own worst enemy. Like, not only is she emotionally manipulative, she's also offering up some shit to make it look like she's kind and clever and loving but this is who she really is too she's both these people she's somebody who services herself as meek in order to manipulate other people because both of these are the same card but they have different meanings and it could be that this guy in his kindness so restricted nature saw this and that's why he's sneaking off like well i got what i wanted the, 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 you know and in all of that someone's still not satisfied <laughs> Someone is still not completely satisfied with this scenario. And 
there could be a cancer involved in this as well when it comes to this king of cups trying to sneak off as the devil while the high priestess needs to do some healing and there needs to be balance brought in this situation possibly even with you libra oh my god not freaking air at all i don't know no no no, no. there's air Here's air and here's air. Both very temporal, I must say. There are a lot of emotions involved here. Like a lot of emotions. And very little bit of investment. Where someone definitely needs to try to weigh the scales out and display some more balance. You know, this person isn't getting anything, and this person's getting it all. And the other person's got the scales over their head, like, wait your turn. But it's like, he got four. Where's mine? Shh. Train's coming. You know? <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. Be careful with this, though, Libra. You know? I would hate, I would, I would hate you guys to get stuck in something that doesn't serve you, right? Seems like every time I read for you guys, you're always getting the stick end of the shift. Hey, Kitten. What you doing? I know. You told me to pay all sorts of attention to you, don't you? Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.